CrossFitters, have you ever looked at the back of your protein powder and thought, hmm, I wonder if this is actually good for me? I'm Erin the Beast, founder of ErinTheBeast.com and creator of the Beast Mode Method, a custom-built program for hardcore CrossFitters who want to dominate at the box. Today we are tackling the topic of protein powders. This is a huge industry, and like every other company's, they're in it to win it. And unfortunately, that means that we as consumers often get the short end of the stick because we buy into the hype that this protein powder or that protein powder is the best thing ever and it's so good for us. Well, newsflash, a lot of these companies are actually major posers and their product is actually doing you more harm than good. Soy. Soy is highly genetically modified, which causes a lot of different health issues. We're not going to get into all of those now, but perhaps in a later video. Um, it is one of the top seven food allergens, which means that it's very, very inflammatory. Many people are sensitive to it or allergic to it and don't even know that they are. It causes a lot of different health issues. Um, it is also very estrogen dominating. It, it promotes estrogen in the body. Um, anyone with a thyroid condition most definitely is going to want to stay away from soy products and anyone that knows or suspects that they have elevated estrogen um, will definitely want to stay away from soy. And This can be in men and women. Some of those symptoms would include um, difficulty losing weight, having more weight around for women around your hips and midsection, for men um, developing breasts, having uh, more of a belly, like I said, a difficult time losing weight, mood swings, PMS, um, all of those, those fun things are symptoms of estrogen dominance. So soy will really aggravate that and cause that to get worse. So you want to stay away from that. Aspartame. Um, this is a huge one and it's in so many very popular uh, protein powders. It is a neurotoxin. Um, it is an artificial sweetener that actually mimics ant poisoning in your body. So it's um, really, really not good. Obviously, you want to stay away from that for sure. Any kind of artificial flavors, colors, additives, things like that, because you don't know what it is. It's basically a chemical concoction that's made up in a lab. You have no idea what's in it. Um, and aspartame falls into that category or any of those other artificial sweeteners and additives and things like that. It um, can cause a lot of different health issues, and you want to just make sure that you know you're taking a protein powder for a reason and you don't want to be causing yourself more harm than good. Along those lines as well, any kind of genetically modified ingredients, and that could include artificial um, flavors, colors, additives, all those things. So genetically modified ingredients or GMOs um, or genetically engineered ingredients, whatever you want to call them, sometimes this requires a little bit of digging on your part as it's not going to say on the label, this requires, this product contains genetically modified ingredients because we don't do that in the US. Now if you're in um, Europe you probably will see those on labels and then it's easier for you and you can just steer clear of those things. These are very dangerous, very very toxic ingredients um, and there's a whole slew of studies that prove this. To learn about the dangers of GMOs, you can go to the film Genetic Roulette, and I'm going to provide you guys with a link right here, and um, you can check that film out. The abridged version is free, and that will give you some insight into the horrible world of genetically modified organisms. So this may require a little bit of digging on your part, um, but if you're if you're doing a protein powder that is animal based, meaning whey, egg, collagen, um, beef protein, you know, anything like that, if it doesn't say grass fed or from pastured eggs or something like that on the label, you can bet that they're coming from factory farms. Um, it's not a clean product. There's, you know, a lot of genetically engineered um, grains that are being fed to the animals, and that all transfers into whatever you consume. What your food eats, you eat. 
So just be aware of that. Any company that does do grass-fed or pastured or anything like that is going to market that and they're going to shout it from the rooftops because that is something that people are looking for. If you call a company and say, hey, where do you um, get your way from? How do you source your products? How are your animals treated? And they can't give you a clear answer on the phone or they kind of him and haw around and they don't really know what you're talking about, well, then you can assume that it is um, conventionally raised product. Um, which, in my opinion, you should stay away from. Artificial sweeteners of any kind, like aspartame, I cannot stress that enough, stay away from aspartame, and any other artificial sweeteners, which would include um, saturin, which is uh, sweetened, though, and also acesulfame potassium, high fructose corn syrup, neotame, which is made by the same company that makes aspartame, and sucralose, which is Splenda. So stay away from those things. Those are all artificial sweeteners. Maltodextrin, um, which is derived from genetically engineered corn, is used in a lot of products as a starch or a binder, provides texture and things like that, kind of like how gluten does, which is also something that you should be staying away from. Um, carrageenan is added to a lot of um, protein powders. It's also used a lot in quote unquote natural um, lip glosses and makeups and lotions and things like that and they also use it in um, dairy free milk substitutes so nut milks of any kind hemp milk almond milk soy milk anything like that and basically what this does is it um, it is derived from a natural substance I guess you could say it's derived from seaweed however how they process it um, makes it basically unrecognizable to your body. That being said, obviously not everything that is natural is good for you. You don't want to run around eating poison ivy, obviously, even though it's natural. Um, so not everything that is of the earth is something that you want to be consuming, obviously. But basically what it does is it acts like poison ivy would to your skin, to your intestines. It's very, very inflammatory. So you're going to want to stay away from that. And lastly, the last one I'm going to talk about is bovine growth hormones. And this will be in any kind of um, whey protein powder that is not from 100% grass-fed cows. And basically, bovine growth hormones create a whole huge can of worms when it comes to health issues. They screw up your hormones. They're related to cancers. Um, it's it's not something that you want to be putting into your body. So make sure that your whey protein powders, if you're using those, are coming from 100% grass-fed cows. Um, and like I said, a company that that has that is is using that kind of product will advertise it on the packaging, on their website, all that stuff because that that's a huge thing that a lot of people are looking for. So, what do we want in our protein powder? We want as few ingredients as possible, and you should be able to pronounce all of the words on the ingredient label. We want sweeteners, if there is a sweetener, we want a sweetener that is minimally processed, that is natural, such as stevia, um, even though some people have a little bit of uh, digestive issues with stevia, it depends on the person. Um, date sugar, you can do um, coconut sugar, maple sugar, anything like that. If you find a protein powder that looks awesome um, and everything looks you know, like things that you would want to put into your body and they have a little bit of organic cane sugar in there, I would say that that was okay. I wouldn't do an inorganic cane sugar because those are usually stripped of any kind of nutrients or anything like that. Try to stay away from cane sugar um, and go with you know the date sugars and coconut sugar and blah blah blah. But if the product looks okay except for that one little thing, that would be the thing that I would give a pass. Um, like we talked about before, make sure that if you're doing an animal-based um, protein powder, whether it be whey or eggs or beef or collagen or anything like that. Make sure that it's grass-fed, it's pastured, etc. And 
making sure that we're using products that come from companies who have a passion for the quality of their product and the source of their ingredients and they have nothing to hide and they lay their research out on the table for everyone to see and they're proud of their products um, these these are the companies that we want to support so um, that is basically um, ingredients in a nutshell Woo! That's a lot of information to take in, and I'm sure you're going to be running to your cabinet to look at the back of your protein powder. But before you do that, I want you to go to my website at www.airinthebeast.com and download my free gift to you, the Beast Mode Method Fundamentals, which is a three-part video series that is packed full of tons of information that is going to help you to bring out your inner beast at the box. Talk to you next time. Bye!